welcome back to another episode of Raise Your Frequency. This week, I thought it would be a really good idea to tap on holiday overwhelm because who does not get stressed the beep out around the holiday season? Whether it's Thanksgiving and having a bunch of family over and hosting it at your house and having to cook and shop, shop for all the food and cook and then you know, deal with like all the different personalities at the table. And then some people might not like other people and you gotta seat these people over here and this, fam this family over there. And you know, it's a lot, right? And then also we have like the Christmas season and whatever holiday you might celebrate. But a lot of the stress that we all experience this time of year can and should be <laughs> minimized so that we can actually enjoy the holiday season with our loved ones, right? I think that's really important. I put together a couple of things that, a couple of ideas that I feel like might help you guys, might help us all. And one of them is to just take a deep breath and just acknowledge that this is an overwhelming time of year, particularly if you have a lot of commitments. If you have, you know, kids who are in school, you have all of the things that they need to do this time of year um, for school, like they're in plays and they have, you know, possibly fundraisers or things like that. There's always something. And I remember back when my kids were little and it was just complete chaos. So if you're in that chapter of life, it is, by the way, the most, I think one of the most beautiful chapters of life, but it's a lot, it's a lot of stress. So anyway, um, just acknowledge that this is an overwhelming time of year and do the things that you need to do to take care of yourself. You know, I'm a big believer in making lists. Write out what your expectations are for the holidays. For example, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. What are your expectations? Do you want to have a lot of people over? Do you want it to just be a small intimate gathering with just your immediate family? Do you just, if you're single, do you want to just have like a Friendsgiving and invite just a few people over? In your mind, how do you see it playing out? What would give you the maximum amount of joy? I will tell you that I tend to be the type of person that I get in my moods where sometimes I am the more the merrier type personality. And then other times I get overwhelmed when there's like a lot of people around me, even if it's people that I know and love and everything, it just gets to be too much. So how are you feeling this holiday season? What is your mood? Do you want a big gathering? Do you want a small gathering? So I would say set the expectation, you know, figure out what your expectation is um, and what do you want your desired outcome to be? And just go after that. Like say no to everything else that isn't that. And also you can see if you are like, if your expectations are too much, are you expecting too much? I, you know, also sometimes I can bite off more than I can chew. I know this about myself and that's why I have this down here to remind you as well. If you're like this, sometimes we tend to overcommit. And we want everyone to be happy and we don't want to say no, but we can't do it all. And the more we try, the more we kind of come up short and then we feel uh, like a failure or we feel like we let people down and you don't want that. So set your expectations of how you want this holiday to be. What's your desired outcome and is it realistic or not? And also another thing that you may uh, be experiencing is if you're married or you're in a relationship, maybe you don't get along with their side of the family or they don't get along with your side of the family or there could be some sort of differences between the family units and everyone, you can't control what other people do, but you can set aside your differences this holiday season to support your loved one, your spouse, your, your boyfriend, girlfriend. Just really make up your mind to be intentional to enjoy the holidays. Another thing, plan ahead. So, if you know that you're going to be cooking, then, you know, make your list and go to the store now and get all the things that you can get that are not going to go bad so that you don't have to go in a frenzy the last minute to the store and buy everything that you need for your holiday dinner, right? So that's one little thing. If you are going to be going over someone's house, then maybe you would you know, offer to bring a dish and then you just get the ingredients for that dish way ahead of time. Maybe you can make it and freeze it and then just bring it, you know 
let it defrost maybe a day or two beforehand. That's tacky. Don't do that. Girl, you better get your butt to the store and make that thing fresh. I'm sorry. Make it fresh, guys. Make it fresh. Don't, don't do that. But you understand what I mean. Like whatever shortcuts that you can take, do that and, and plan ahead. Also, learn to say no. Say no if it's too much. Don't be like I used to be back in the day where I would just overcommit myself and it would just be a lot. And then the holiday would come and go and it would be like a blur. Like, wow, is Thanksgiving over? It, you know, you spend all day cooking and it's just over like that. Really take the time to enjoy your holidays this year and don't abandon your healthy habits. If you are normally, if you usually get up and go to the gym, get your butt up and go to the gym. Even if it's, you know, um, a holiday, I know a lot of gyms are closed and things like that, but if you have a way of working out, whether it's taking a walk or whatever, get your, get, stick to your healthy habits because you don't want to feel like crap afterwards that you ate too much and you didn't, you know, stay committed to your fitness goals and, you know, try to eat as healthy as you can. Don't let this be, you know, a pass to just eat whatever junk you want. I don't know. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about that. Some people are like, oh yeah, just eat whatever. I don't know. I, I just don't even crave things that are like super not healthy for me. So sometimes I do, whatever. Anyway, just try to eat as healthy as you can. That's my point. Yeah. And then also leave room for imperfection. Leave room for things not being perfect. Release that expectation. Guys, if you go into this holiday season thinking that this is going to be some picture perfect, you know, get together and it's supposed to be like this Norman Rockwell painting of a holiday season, you'll be so disappointed. I swear, whenever we have expectations, it is the recipe for disaster. So how about just make it fun, right? Whatever it is, whether you're going to be by yourself or with friends or just whatever, do something, make it fun and enjoyable. And yeah, I hope some of those tips were useful. Let's get into this tapping so we can just remember to stay in the moment and enjoy this holiday season. So first I want you to take a deep breath and hold it at the top. Let it out. Even though it's the holidays and I want everything to be perfect, My intention is to relax and enjoy this holiday season. I know that I tend to have a lot of expectations. For this time of year for myself and my family. I can put a lot of stress on my plate without even realizing it. I don't want to let anyone down. There's so much pressure to make everything perfect. From the food, to the decorations, to the gifts, it's too much. Everything needs to be perfect. Or I feel like I didn't try hard enough. I realize that I can easily overcommit. I can also be a little bit controlling this time of year. Even though I want this holiday season to go smoothly, I realize that it will still be wonderful if it doesn't turn out that way. Even though I may be hard on myself this time of year, and I think of everything that isn't perfect in my life,
And sometimes I unknowingly compare myself to others. I still deeply love, honor, and accept myself. I am determined to have a magical holiday season. I will manage my own expectations. I will say no when asked to do more than I can handle. I am releasing this need to be perfect. I am releasing the need for the approval of others. Because at the end of the day, <coughs> those who matter won't mind. And those who mind won't matter after the holidays are over. I will do my best and that will be enough. I will remember what the holidays are all about. And that is to enjoy the moments together. No matter what my personal opinions are about anyone or anything. I am removing judgment from this holiday season. I am embracing creativity, fun, and warm memories. If I choose to host a holiday at my house, I will be relaxed and welcoming to my guests. I want everyone to have a great time. I want everyone to feel loved. I am releasing all guilt around gift giving. I will not overspend to make others happy. I will set a budget and stick to it. This will remove that sucky feeling after the holidays are over. Of having spent way more than I should have. And if I am single this time of year, I will release all feelings of sadness that may rear its ugly head. I realize this time of year can make single people feel very lonely. because of a faulty belief system that society has made us buy into.
when in reality, being single can be a motherfucking blast. This is a fun time to get with other single people and live it up. Or maybe I just want to spend time with my family and enjoy them. Or maybe I just want to have some me time and get some projects done. Whatever path I choose this holiday season, it will be wonderful, filled with love, and I will embrace it all. And so it is. Take a deep breath, hold it at the top. The bottom line is, guys, you get to decide how you want your holidays to be, how you want them to play out, who you want to spend your time with, how you want to feel during the holidays. Just be really mindful as you go into this holiday season and really manage your expectations and the expectations of others. I have grown children and so it's this time of year, I always start to feel like, okay, should I fly to where they are? Do I want to fly them to me? It's a lot of pressure that society puts on uh, everyone to be with, you know, people and family and, 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 and to feel guilty if you're not with your kids, let's say your grown kids or, or with your family, when in reality, maybe it's just not feasible. You know, ki when kids grow up and they want to be with their significant other's family, as a parent, you have to accept that and you have to remove the guilt. I've seen parents guilt their children into spending the holidays with them. And I have just not like that. I'm like, if my kids want to be somewhere else then, and I can't be with them or they can't be with me, it's okay. We know we love each other. It's the world does not come to an end because you don't eat a meal on a certain day with someone. I mean, come on guys, that's just ridiculous. So anyway, try to keep things in perspective. Try to manage your own expectations and don't allow feelings of guilt or sadness or any of the other things that society has, you know, all the expectations that society has placed on us to get inside your head and ruin your holiday season because expectations are the quickest way to ruin anything. So just enjoy this holiday season. Remember what this is all for anyway. It is to give thanks and it is to celebrate the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ, if you are a Christian. If you're not, then this is my belief. But yeah, so just remember whatever holiday you celebrate, whatever the belief is behind that, Go back to the original belief and why you celebrate the holiday in the first place and cherish that and just really embrace that part of it and leave the rest of it, that other commercialized stuff, leave it behind. Enjoy your holidays, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this tapping session and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any other topics that you'd like for us to tap on as we get closer to the like the holidays, Christmas, let me know and I'll do another tapping session for you guys. Until then, guys, enjoy your holidays and I will see you back here next week. Oh, before I forget, please like, share, and subscribe this video. We are trying to grow our little community. I would really appreciate if you guys could share this with someone that you know that could use it. All right, have a great day.